I think this is shocking to people to think that this, good morning. Good morning. That <laughs> this, in the midst of this outbreak, that yeah. this study from Pew is saying that the USDA is not doing enough. It's their job to protect and to study our food sources. It is, and we have to remember that, you know, total uh, de decontamination, not having any bacteria in our poultry, may be too lofty a goal. But the question is, how do we prevent people from actually getting sick from it? Now, you can have contaminated poultry and then they decontaminate it, but what these watch groups are saying is the government really needs to work on prevention. Don't let the chickens get the bacteria in the first place. Why is it, why are you saying it's near impossible? In, in right. New York Times is saying that in Sweden, they don't have salmonella issues. They don't have this right. contamination issue. They don't issue. have it when it gets to the consumer. Yes. Yeah. So the, the thing is, ma many when of these... When it gets these, to the consumer. When it gets You're to the consumer. You're still drawing the same distinction between having s contaminated birds versus contaminated birds that are consumed. Right. And these, when we're talking about salmonella and some other bacteria, they do live in the intestines of mm -hmm. poultry. So okay. But going from the intestine to the actual flesh that we're eating, that's the question. And it all depends on the conditions that they're being processed in, the conditions they're, li they're living in, and ultimately when the consumer gets it, how we're treating the poultry. And that's one thing where we have to be extremely careful. You know, Consumer Reports recently did a study where the majority of the samples they tested many different brands of chicken all had bacteria in it, potentially illness-causing bacteria. So we have to be very vigilant. And so how should we be more vigilant? Clearly people are getting sick. I mean, I've got lots of questions about this kind of like antibiotic resistant strain about salmonella. Right. But what should people know? Is it extra washing of your chicken before you eat it? Making sure it's cooked better? What, what's... Well, certainly cooking, you know, the, the old theory was 165 degrees will kill it. Now some people are saying even go up to 180 degrees because we are seeing new strains of bacteria that might be more virulent and more resistant to killing. But you also have to be very careful when you're handling chicken, raw chicken, that you're washing all the surfaces, all the utensils, your hands, before you're touching everything else in your kitchen. So you could be touching the chicken and then touching a faucet. And then, you know, are you going to mm -hmm. wash down that faucet right away? You're moving so most fast in the kitchen that most of us yeah. tend to forget right. just that extra last you step. You don't. Right? And the antibiotic yeah. resistance point you brought up is a, is a very important one. Because not only are we seeing salmonella, but we're seeing salmonella that's difficult to treat with our traditional antibiotics. Is that because you're giving the birds too many antibiotics to begin with? Absolutely, yes. And many times this is used to help promote the growth of the birds. Um, but it's not ne necessary. And by the way, organic doesn't mean Well, I was just that... about to ask, like, what do we do? Organic well, doesn't mean safe. Safer. Organic doesn't mean safer from a bacteria standpoint, but if they're not using antibiotics, which usually they're not, at least the bacteria you get won't be resistant to antibiotics. But when you mm. look at those numbers, 400 people, 23 yeah. states, this is widespread. It and is. there are probably people that didn't see treatment. Sure, because often salmonella causes a diarrheal illness, and it goes away within a few days in the vast majority of cases. This strain recently, however, was more aggressive. 40% of those sickened were actually hospitalized. Usually it's 20% or less. So, What do you think of the really? FDA's move that they announced, that they're going to try to be pulling out the feed, antibiotics from the feed they get? Well, I think it's a great first step. Um, the problem is the timing. Like, How soon can they do it and how yeah. quickly? And that's what many people worry. It's not soon enough.